Arsenal fan TV, Graham. What, you know what? You, you, I, I know you like to analyse games. What is, is it? The defence, the thought of the defence, why we seem to be conceding all these goals against these type of teams, or is it the fact that the midfield are not doing their job properly? Well, if you play a four-three-three, Robbie, you need two things: you need a commanding centre back, and you need a DM. And uh, Wenger hasn't addressed that. I think one of the reasons he didn't do that is because we ended the season with three at the three central defenders last year in a back five. Now, when we played the top teams this year, we've gone with the back five, and we've won 50% of the games against Tottenham, Liverpool, Man U, Man City, the, the top teams. If you look at the record, so I was surprised he went 4-3-3 tonight. Um, I think in the first half you saw we played with the handbrake on, and that was, I think, a combination of the fact that. Um, We've conceded 11 goals against Liverpool in the last three games. So the players, we weren't getting players. We were toothless in the first half. Mm. We had so much attacking talent in the team, but we weren't getting up the pitch. So what you had in effect was uh, we were almost like playing like the away team in the first half. We yeah. were very weary of them on the counter-attack. And too weary. Too of them. weary of yeah. them. And uh, then the game opened up a bit. But I think you saw why we needed DM tonight. Now, obviously he played uh, AC uh, Maitland-Niles mm. in the left-back position. And to be fair to him, I think that he struggled tonight, uh, and what you need is when the fullback goes forward, you need a DM to drop in into that space. Why didn't he play Kolasinac? Um, well, I would have. I would have played. I said to you on the Arsenal fan TV last game, I would have played the back five. I would have played uh, three, four, one, two. And now I say that when we play these top teams. Um, we haven't got what I would call creative midfielders. You know, um, so what you need to do, I think, when you play these top teams is, like, like Liverpool, they play with a 4-4-2, but it, becomes, it frequently becomes a 4-2-4. So we need the solidity of the back mm. of, a, of, a, of a stronger defence. So the idea for me is that when you play the top teams, and Wenger himself has said it, whether Mustafi wasn't quite ready tonight to come back in, but you play the back three with the two wing-backs. If you're going to play a 4-3-3, you need a, definitely need a, a, a DM, a DM who's more uh, positionally aware. So when full-backs go forward, he drops in. We don't do that. So what we get in effect is uh, Liverpool, what they do, they kill you in transition. And they, play a, they, don't, so they, they don't press the high up the pitch now, but they wait their moment on the counter-attack. And that's what they were doing very well today. The game started a bit cagey, opened up, and then they waited for our fullbacks to go forward, and then they exploited the space in behind, and that's what led to the first goal. Now, Arsenal played with a handbrake on in the first half. It was only when they went two down that I think in the second half we started to realise, you know, we can't just sit back now, we're going to have to go forward more. And Mesut Ozil led the Renaissance. Uh, yeah. And what Ozil's doing really well at the moment, and I didn't notice it until I watched the game back at, at the weekend, he's coming deeper. Uh, and he's having more passes now in our team than even Granite Jack, and that tells you how deeper he's coming. But what he did, he led the fight back. And I said to you on he's Saturday, brilliant. yeah, I said to you on Saturday, uh, Rob, that we need to get um, Lacazette, Ozil, and Sanchez on the ball. And you see what happened when we did today. Mm. That, that Liverpool, we, we don't want to play with them in areas where they're good. We want to engage. We want to get engaged with their defenders one on one. Uh, we we <laughs> caused them problems today. And and the the uh, uh, if you look at our goals. The 4 3 3 should give us whip, doesn't give us whip. But the moment Bellerin got the cross in, yep. that led to Sanchez getting into the box with a goal. Sanchez, who is in effect can play either striker or number 10, getting in behind to head in the, 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 the first goal. And then the second goal, I have to say, Mingale was at fault. Mm. Uh, that was swerving a bit, but a top class goalkeeper, he, he would have saved that. And then the third goal, uh, absolutely outstanding move. I said to you about getting these three front players combining. And what you saw then when Ozil rolled it into Lacazette, the movement, he was waiting for that. Lacazette knew exactly what he was going to do, and that was an outstanding finish. So when we get these three players, our outstanding players, our crown jewels, on the ball around the box, we make things happen. Um, and I, you know, I, I think that um, in the end, I think we were lucky in the first half. I think on another day we would have been out of it because mm. they missed some great chances in that mm. first half. Uh, only slipped in that first half, oh. and, Pete, and, the, and the irony was, I thought Czech in his 100th appearance mm. tonight kept us in the game with some outstanding saves, but he was at fault for the, yeah. uh, for the third goal. But overall, no complaints, it was an entertaining game, probably more entertaining than even the Man United game, yeah. Yeah. and two teams, you see why they're never going to win the Premier League. Can't defend. They can't defend. One thing we need to do, I think, if he does anything in the transfer window, we need to get a proper DM, Robbie. Is Nzonzi Inzon the answer? Do you know what rumours that he could be the guy coming in in that position? Do you know what? I'm not so sure. Um, I've, I've said Cavalier and, and Zonzi, but there's what, what I'd like. I would like uh, Goretzka if we mm. could get him. Uh, Goretzka is what I call an all-round midfield player. Mm. He can play DM and he can get forward as well, like a nine Golan type of midfielder. But he can play a DM. What we need is if he's going to play a three, five, uh, three, four, three, or, or with the back five, we need 
one of the big disappointments was he didn't get Kante. If he got Kante, he would have been perfect in that system. Because because basically, Jacka is the problem with Jacker is he's defensively. His defensive awareness is poor. He's not mobile. He can't tackle. So yeah, he's our defensive midfielder. Now he, he he plays a lot of safe passes, and he can play a sexy pass when he's not under pressure. But he's not a DM. Uh, but I think whether I would rather have Enzonzi and not have Enzonzi. But I would like we've brought in now the Diamond Eye, the Chief Scout, Missilin uh, Missilin Tat, uh, and so I think. L- for, for one of the things he could do is, is start looking at German talent. Now we've got sort of like behind the scenes, we've got uh, Lehman, we've got Mertesacker, and we've got this scout now. Now I, I would be quite happy if um, he got brought, say, Goretzka uh, and played him in a DM role. We bought a commanding centre back, Van Dijk, or a quality centre back. Uh, and then I would like possibly uh, Draxler or even Fakir. Now Fakir, we could reunite Fakir with Lacazette, couldn't we? Mm. That was an outstanding partnership at Lyon. But when we play a 4-3-3, I think the lesson for Wenger tonight is you need, uh, if your full-backs are going to go forward, you've got to work in training on getting somebody coming across and covering the space because that's where Liverpool were dangerous tonight. They exploited us and we were fortunate we weren't out of the game. It was a breathtaking comeback, toothless in the first half, not one shot on target in the first half. First time ever I can remember in an Arsenal game. Outstanding comeback led by Mesut Ozil and then we conceded, but in, in the end a fair result, Robbie. Merry Christmas, mate. Merry Christmas.